Hey, it's Amanda here from Blogs by Jarvis. So today I'm going to be writing a blog post or showing you how to write a blog post with the new boss mode in Jarvis alongside Surfer SEO. And I'm going to show you how I use the brief function in Surfer. So both uh, links to both of those are going to be available with this video. Um, but for now, we're in uh, the boss mode in Jarvis here and we're going to hit start from scratch. So this is going to give us a new document. And immediately I'm going to go up here and we've got three modes. We've got the focus mode, which we're in right now, the power mode, which is where we see all the templates. And we've got SEO mode, which is going to connect us to Surfer. You do need a Surfer account to use this, by the way. And then basically I'm going to choose a content editor that I'd previously set up in Surfer. And this is uh, best email subject lines, uh, sorry, best subject lines for emails. So the first thing I want to do is have a look at the brief here. So the uh, Surfer Brief will give you basically most of the content you need to actually write the post. In fact, it's telling you exactly what you need to put in this post. So it gives you content here under the H1, H2, H3. Now, from what I understand, the H1 content is definitely not original. You definitely need to rewrite that content. But the content H2 onwards is AI written content. Um, but it, I'd consider it a starting point for Jarvis. So let's just dive in and, and start. So basically, um, let's just choose one of these. Um, which do we think is the best? Um, it doesn't really matter. Let's choose this one. Okay, so we're going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say this is an H1. Oh, it was already an H1. Okay, now I know that number's not correct, and I have the number here, so 306.4 billion. 306.4 billion emails. Sorry. Were sent every day in 2020. I just looked that fact up because I thought I should be a little bit prepared. Okay, so there's loads of content there. I'm just going to get rid of that Google because we don't need that. And then basically, you can take some more of the information from here, or you could let Jarvis run with this. So let's just, first of all, let's just rewrite this just to be sure, okay? So um, it's quite a, quite a chunk to rephrase in one go, so I don't, oh yeah, he's going to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to do it little by little just so that we keep the context of the paragraph. Try that again. OK, I like that. It's very simple. And I think that's one thing that Jarvis teaches us is to use simple languages. Language, rather. <laughs> you can tell I'm a little tired, aren't you? Bear in mind that we just we have to rewrite this anyway because we want to make it original and yes you could do this in content improver template to make it faster but i really kind of want to show you how i'm working through with jarvis i'm going to do that but i'm just going to take out samples just in case I hate sentences that begin with because I was taught then and but because so do not start sentences with those words. That's my classical English teaching. Actually, you know what? I just don't even like this uh, line, so I'm just going to delete it. OK, so we have a little starting point anyway. So over 305 million emails are sent daily with a third never being opened. There are many approaches to, cre to creating effective subject email subject lines. Put in email. This post will cover the, the following, will, will cover nine types of subject lines for email. If, so this is a content brief. So if we were um, not using Surfer, we could take that and put it up here in the content brief. So let's do that anyway. Uh, 
sorry, wrong place. I need to be in focus mode. So we're going to put that in the content brief. And we're going to pop that here. OK, and we're even going to put email subject in here, this is a keyword. OK. So we're going to pop back to SEO mode in Surfer. And basically, we're just going to hit compose here and see what Jarvis has for us. And we're in boss mode, so we can just keep keep going, right? So question, question email subjects, fact email subjects. And here we just keep going and going and going. Insult email subjects, I like that. Okay, so I love it. But, wow, <laughs> sneaky bastard, sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna let him get to a, a natural stopping point. But there isn't a natural stopping point with Jarvis, that's the problem, he just, his, the, the, the copy is so good. Look at this. Okay, and can you see actually here that the surfer score is creeping up as well just as, as Jarvis writes so even though he isn't actually picking up any of these keywords he's naturally writing using using uh, words that Google would like so I can't help myself I just have to keep going I'm so sorry I can't stop him. It's like listening to somebody that's really fascinating. Okay, I'm going to stop there. The point is that yes, the content store is, score is creeping up and um, the number of words here, you can see how many we've got. So we've got another 3000 words to go. So it's possible that if we just let Jarvis go, that he's going to carry on. The thing is that I do want to include these keywords and these are really not being included at the moment. And the other thing is that Surfer has already, already told us here what we need to include in here. So basically, um, I'm going to just change tactic a little bit. So we're going to leave everything that Jarvis has written because I can edit that later. And these are uh, different types of uh, subject lines. So personalized with numbers and lists, single words, funny, simple, uh, missing out tactics, questions, best practices. So I kind of like these more. So if we hadn't have done this with Jarvis, then what we could do is we just go here. So let's start here. So we're going to paste this in. So we can actually just get Jarvis to um, follow on. So now he's reading, remember he's reading up to 2,000 uh, characters. So, or two to 3,000 characters actually, I apologize in boss mode. So he's gonna read everything that we've got here and all that stuff that we've written above already. So that gives him the context of, of how we want him to write. And we're just gonna hit compose here. That's cool. I like this. So basically, we're getting some examples here. So if you are an affiliate for anything, these are good opportunities where you could literally use um, examples from programs that you're an affiliate for that they've sent out great emails um, and then pop your affiliate link in there. So I'm actually going to take this out for now because it's probably not in context for this article, but Again, it was a great idea. Thank you, Jarvis. He is full of great ideas. So then what we'll do is we'll take the next one and we'll pop it in here. OK, and let Jarvis carry on. OK, 
okay so add a number and list or avoid all caps yeah sorry i'm gonna let me carry on let me scroll up so you can see Well, I'm like where this is going. Seven fifty cents of email writing begins with. Okay, so now he's gone on to like number two. So, so what we can do is literally just carry on working through with the content here from Surfer, popping it in, pasting it in here, and building out our blog post. Um, we can also do other things. So let's try this. I'm not very good with the voice command, so bear with me. Write a paragraph about personalized subject lines in cold emails. Let's go. Okay, so that was my fault because I had the um, formatting on, but let's get rid of that. Okay, and that's a good reason to make sure that you haven't got the formatting on because you can't choose too much text at one go to get rid of the formatting. So don't be a baddie like me. Okay, so personalized subject lines are a great way to grab attention of your email recipients and make sure they open your mails. Personalized subject lines will also help you to increase your conversion rates because personalizing the email makes it more personable, which is what more people want in their inboxes. A personalized subject line helps you stand out from all the other emails that may be competing for the same audience attention in, in their inbox um, are a good way to keep track of who opens your emails and reads them so you can follow up with them. I'm not quite sure if that's true. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, the best type of personalized subjects are those that address the recipient by name, talk about topics they're interested in. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that as well. Okay, but I just asked Jarvis to write me a paragraph, right? Let's ask him to for some more. Okay, I don't love that, but I didn't give him a lot of context. Um, and we are still here in our document settings we didn't update, update any document settings there or anything so but we can do that for each one so we can either take the um sorry can take the <laughs> can take the uh, content here that surf has given us or we can just take the h2 here and rewrite it so this is kind of how i'm using the integration to build out my blog posts so um, we can also, um, let's just use the, the text that Jarvis gave us. So write a blog post conclusion paragraph based on the text above. Okay, so I would say that that's not particularly a conclusion. Um, so I'm gonna run that again. Write a brief blog post conclusion paragraph with persuasive bullet points based on the text above. So can you see how I'm giving him some slightly different commands? Now I've got bullet points. Oh my God, I love that. I haven't even mentioned AI. Save time by enabling AI to write high converting copy content. You just know that's where I was going with this blog post, right? Get a wide variety of marketing content with just one click. Stop wasting your time on tedious and overwhelming tasks. 
increased return on investment on your ad campaigns, write more content in hours than you have in months. Jarvis knows me so well. But can you see the theory there? As in, I said, write me a brief conclusion based on bullet points, and I got bullet points. So when you're working in boss mode, and believe me, we're all still going through and figuring out exactly how to talk to Jarvis, but we don't all want to talk to Jarvis in the same way because we need to teach him how we all talk to him so that he can learn a variety of inputs um, to give us our outputs. So obviously I'm not gonna sit here and do this entire post with you today. It's a really exciting afternoon. We've got training with um, Surfer and then training with Jarvis and I've actually got a masterclass later on this afternoon with Molly Mahoney, my great friend. So busy, busy day, but I just wanted to give you a little glimpse into how I'm using boss mode and surfer together so if you have any questions please ask them in the comments for this post and if not i will keep doing these i hope you don't get bored of me and uh, we'll just keep going oh let's just have a look at the content score i'm just kind of a little bit intrigued so see the content score for this already is creeping up to 40 and we're not even halfway through so you just know that this is going to end up being a great blog post and i promise you when it's finished i will share it with you okay have a great day amanda blogs by jarvis